Welcome to Four Wall Drummers. I'm Phil Rosato, and in this segment, the topic is the buzz roll. Before I start the demo, I would like to extend our thanks and appreciation to Paul Compton for the filming, editing, production, as well as the playing on Four Wall Drummers. Thank you, Paul, behind the scenes. You're welcome. <laughs> so the buzz roll, multiple long bounce strokes. It's actually an art, this, this uh, technique. So I found that if you get the most out of your stick, be sloppy at, at first, just let the stick bounce. By doing this, you get the most out of the bounce. You can harness how much or how little you'd like to utilize in this particular uh, technique. In other words, you can be like this. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do is talk about the motion itself. I roll in circles, saying is that it's like a whipping cream roll. So Effective buzz roll is through pressure, uh, dynamics, and what part of the drum head I, I use itself. So in other words, if I'm going to uh, apply pressure, I get a really tight closed buzz roll. Again, I'm really keeping that beat of the stick very close to the drum head. Not, not, not. Although that's effective at, at other times as well. The other thing too is regardless of the grip you use, the angle of the drum is crucial. I play traditional, so I tend to play down more. The more the bead that has contact with the drum head, the better your buzz roll is going to be. In other words, if I was to buzz like this, I'm not getting much. If I'm like this, a lot of contact is made. So I've seen in the past a lot of matched grip players will anger their drum towards them. So the bead is making the most contact. Traditional grips players tend to angle the drum down more. But it's more of a natural uh, feel. So you get the most out of that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some syncopated patterns. 16th notes. Straight with no buzz. It sounds like this. On the accents, I'm going to buzz the accent, so it sounds like this. Now the whole syncopated part, I'm going to buzz the whole, um, all, all the notes. Another application is triplets. If I play straight accents, no buzz with triplets, it sounds like this. Now I'm going to buzz the accents. More ways you can use this. If you take a, 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 a version of Steve Gadd's 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover, again, this is in that style. He, he plays a few different versions. But if I was to do something like... Now, in that style... I'm going to play something like this in a buzz. So you see 
what I'm doing there? I'm going. With a buzz. So that's another application. There's a song uh, by Ricky Lee Jones called Chucky's in Love. And Gad did the flutter lick in that. But what he does at the end is this. On that end, he buzzes to go back into the beat. So it's... Another way you can use this is just in a simple rock rhythm. You can do it on the downbeat. Or you can do it on the pickup. Another thing that I like to do with that one is I'm going to play a jazz rhythm with my right hand and underneath I'm going to play my left hand as if I was doing so I'm going to do it all on snare drum for a reason. Watch how I use the buzz with my left. So getting back to the whipping cream roll, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play buzz into double strokes in sixteenths, and it's going to be a grid. I'm going to start long and go short. So it's like, I'll play it slow. and one. Up the speed. You can also reverse it starting with the doubles. Now what I'm going to do is demonstrate a buzz roll from slow to fast, fast to slow. If you notice there, even, even though I'm not buzzing, if I drag the stick across from the momentum of the buzz, you still get that sound, that effect, like this. Right there. Oh, that just feels so beautiful. Anyway, we'll see you next time on Four Wall Drummers.